What makes an effective nurse educator? What is your definition of a teacher? Teaching is an intentional arranging of events. Using a lesson plan and creating a sequence of events will facilitate learning in a way that is repeatable and consistent. Making learning real, relevant, and meaningful are the keys. We see this in the way Christ taught high concepts. Christ taught in parables and made use of things within his environment that were real and relevant to the people he was talking to. An example of this comes from Luke 13, 18 through 19. Then Jesus asked, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds perched in its branches. In order to create meaning, the concept and how the concept is learned must be real and relevant. In this case, Christ used a mustard seed to illustrate the kingdom of God. In Learning in Adulthood, Miriam and Caffarella quote Jarvis 1987, Learning, even self-directed learning, rarely occurs in splendid isolation from the world in which the learner lives. It is intimately related to the world and affected by it. As an educator, part of our job is to create the pattern and help make learning relevant by using scenarios and cases that are meaningful to those we are educating. We create the pattern by building lesson plans and lessons, and as the learners go through the process, they begin to see meaning within the learning. This structure helps us to be efficient as well. We want to value the time of the learner. We do this by making the learning real and relevant, and then the learner begins to see the meaning. As a nurse educator, it is our duty to be intentional and purposeful with the arranging of the lessons as well as with the delivery of these elements. To make the best use of our time with learners, it is important to incorporate all of our senses. We see this through the teachings of Christ as well. Jesus used the things of his environment to teach a spiritual truth and he incorporated all of the senses. People will retain approximately 10% of what they hear, 30% of what they see, and approximately 70% of what they engage in with two or more senses. What are some ways you can incorporate more senses into the learning process? In order to help us create repeatable learning, the first step is to create learning objectives. The key for a good learning objective is to make them observable and measurable. Think of these objectives from the perspective of the learner. What is the best way for them to learn this objective and show that they can perform to the standard of the objective? We will take a deeper dive into objectives throughout our class. For now, the basic parts of a learning objective are behavior, condition, and criteria. In other words, what action will the learner be taking and under what conditions? Are they beside a bed, in a surgery? Where are they? And how well will they accomplish the task? Also, take time to think of how you will assess if they meet that standard. Take a moment to reflect on a good teacher that you have had in the past. What made them a good teacher? As you progress as a nursing educator, building relationships with your learners is important. The first part of this is to know your audience. Who are you educating? If you are educating patients, do you want to use a lot of medical terminology or jargon? Probably not. Remember that Christ explained the kingdom of God using a mustard seed. Earlier, we talked about a good teacher needing to create and have positive interpersonal relations. Here are some tips to start with. Value the different experiences of the learners. Everyone brings something different to the class. Embrace what others bring to the class. Give feedback to the student that supports their growth. Be available. Create opportunities for all students to succeed. 